When you're a shadow of your former self, you don't live in the daylight, you live at night. And you get woken up by this tiny robot that looks like a Mega Man reject. Then you're probably playing Cyber Shadow because, man, this is pretty much what if we mishmash Batman with, you know, a little bit of Ninja Gaiden and put it in the future and then you get Cyber Shadow, which is a lot of fun in this game. Um, it's a really cool callback to like Ninja Gaiden sort of platforming from like 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, it, I also wrote like Contra, I guess some of the levels kind of look like Contra, but yeah definitely Batman. Um, the game plays like Ninja Gaiden, like the classic side-scrolling 2D ones, and yeah, it really does feel like a game that either they methodically try to do it this way, or uh, it seems like they tried to make a game where you have to have that Nintendo patience, because if you don't have the patience to get through these, you know, sort of like gas chambers, there were... Uh, miss that you have to dodge and like you have to time some things perfectly. The start of the game is not like that but as you get progressed in the game I think I got into chapter 3 like this game rewards patience and you will just go straight back and you'll just die if you don't have the patience to fight the bosses, you know, patience to avoid the traps in each level um, and it really does feel rewarding when you beat the bosses, but like sometimes you'll be down to like one heart left and you're like, oh man, I messed up here. I could have like played better here. So it's generally it's your fault if you mess up in a stage. Not always. Uh, some of the tricks the developer put in, um, you can get fooled the first time. Like there's some dropping blocks um, where I was in the game and if you stand on those dropping blocks and you wait for like the perfect moment you actually die and it's clearly been designed this way uh, in the game uh, for that to happen um, I feel like the controls are fairly tight and they really need to be uh, for you to play this game properly um, it, as I said the game starts off easily and then gradually gets harder uh, mildly challenging to frustrating. I have to admit, I was cursing a few times. I replayed some areas like maybe a dozen or more times. So it is quite tricky. Um, and it requires you not to make any mistakes. And I mean literally, like, you can't goof off in boss fights and in stages. Like, you, do, you get health boost sometimes, but like, you really can't make, you have to minimize your mistakes. And it really does feel like a Ninja Gaiden versus, you know, meets Batman. Uh, yeah, and you have to recognize the boss battle patterns. If you don't, like, you're just not going to last. You're not going to beat the boss. You're not even come close. You'll just probably, like, quit the game. Um, yeah, I've only played about a third of the game. Uh, I played it last week. And there's a really high difficulty. And, again, I can't emphasize enough, like... This really plays on Ninja Gaiden, but you need the patience and the self-discipline. And if you don't, you probably won't appreciate this game as much. Um, the game apparently is not super long. I think there's like 10 levels, 12 levels. I'm around 3 or 4, chapter 3 or 4. Uh, it costs about 24 bucks, which I feel like is pretty fair. Um, but of course, like $15 would be a sweet spot. It gives you enough game where I feel like the 24 is fair but the once you've been it I don't see it as like a game you go back to like the music's really good um, but I would definitely say it's like one of the easily one of the best games that came out this year so far uh, easily a 9 out of 10 the music's great the controls and it, it feels strangely addictive like it's at first I wasn't hooked but once it started getting harder to play this game, um, I really enjoyed, you know, uh, the time I spent. I actually had to prime myself from playing this game. I played it for, I think, a solid two to four hours, uh, which is not usually what um, I play for review. But 
definitely check it out. It's, as I said, easily one of the best games of the year. And yeah, I found it frustrating, but a lot of fun. So definitely check it out and keep on ninjing. Okay, bye.